Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to attempt to install and run Cyberpunk 2077 onto my Steam Deck and see how it performs. And I'm going to use the latest update, uh, which is 1.63 as of now, as of recording, I guess. Um, and I heard that it's gone a lot better. I played a bit of this game when it first came out. I probably played like one or two hours, didn't really get into it. And so I might give it another go. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is on my PC, download the game, and then I'm going to install the files. Um, you see, I've got a lot of files because uh, I've got the main game and then the updates, and the updates are incremental. So uh, I could get a repack, but the repack as of now is only uh, up to 1.6 version, uh, and the latest is 1.63. So I'm going to install the base game 1.6 and then I'm going to add the updates onto it. So 1.61, 1.62, and then there's some hot fixes. So there's a lot of files. Um, for you, if you're watching uh, at a later stage, you'll probably just get a, a repack that has everything included, which might be easier. So I'm going to fast forward this part. It's just the installation. It takes around uh, one hour and 15 minutes for me on an SSD. So yeah, I'm going to fast forward this part. Okay, so after an hour and 15 minutes, I've finished installing the game and all the updates and I've tested the game that runs on the PC. So now I'm going to transfer the whole directory of the game uh, to my Steam Deck and I'm using a program called Warpinator. So uh, you could use FTP or you could just copy it to your USB stick if you'd like. But uh, that's the way I like to do it. So uh, it's going to take another an hour though because uh, it's a big file. It's a, I think the folder is around 60 something gigabytes. So I'm gonna fast forward this part and I'll see you once I've completed transferring. Okay, so we're in the Steam Deck desktop mode now. We've finished transferring the folders and uh, I'm at downloads, Warpinator, Cyberpunk 2077. And inside there's a bin folder and then there's the exe, Cyberpunk 2077 dot exe so go into your steam add a game add a non-steam game click browse and then search for that exe file again all right so i'm going to add this exe add selected programs and then on the left hand side you should see cyberpunk 277.exe go to the properties i'm going to change the name i'm going to delete the exe and then add the space to make it nice and pretty go to compatibility force it to Proton Experimental, and let's try to run the game. If it runs on desktop mode, it's probably going to work on game mode too. All right, no hiccups, no dependencies required. Seems like it's booting in. Wait for it. Okay. Yeah, looks like it's good. So once we get to the title screen, I'm going to quit out of it. And then we're going to run it on game mode just to make sure. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so quit out of the game, and then I'm gonna go to game mode. So I'll see you in game mode. Okay, so we're in game mode, and the first thing we're gonna do is make it look pretty and nice. So we're gonna change the artwork, and I'm gonna use the official artwork. You don't have to. You could use the third party ones if you'd like. 
I just like to do it the official way. So let me finish getting the artwork. Logo and then icon. Oh, there's a lot of icons for this one. Or I'm just going to get the main character, I guess. The guy. All right. Looks good. Okay, let's run the game. I heard this game runs pretty good. Uh, I think it, they say I think it runs at a pretty solid 40. Uh, I'm not going to do the settings. I'll probably just run the default first. And when I, if I do get to play it, I might tweak the settings a little bit. I don't think I'll start this game yet because um, Red Dead Redemption is coming out. And I think I'm going to play that. I wanted to play it for a long time. I never really played it back in the day. Um, I played a bit of it on the PC uh, through Xenia. Um, and then I wanted to play it on the Steam Deck, but uh, it doesn't run on the Steam Deck natively. You need to install Windows, and I didn't want to do that. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for uh, Red Dead Redemption to come out. Too bad it doesn't have a PC port. So I guess I'll run it on a, on the Yuzu emulator on my Steam Deck, so I can play it portably. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll play that for the for one or two weeks. Alright, so let's see how this runs. It's looking pretty good. I might uh, dive into this game later. It is a big AAA game, I guess. And I heard that it's uh, fixed. A lot of issues are fixed. But yeah, I'm not that into um, first person. I would have preferred a third person, like The Witcher 3. I was expecting a third person view game. But yeah, I guess it's okay. The graphics are pretty good. And this is a large open world game, so you might need to spend quite some time on this game. But yeah, everything's looking good. And it's an easy install. It's just um, install it to your PC and then transfer the whole game folder. To your Steam Deck and then add a non Steam game to your Steam library. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So I think everyone could do this. Um, it's just that if you need the latest update, uh, as of now, I'm not sure if there's a repack, but uh, I couldn't find it. So I just had to install it. Uh, it's the, I installed the 1.6 and then the updates, uh, a, a lot of updates, I think five or six update patches to patch the game. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's like I didn't do any settings, and it's uh, at a thirty frames, and the graphics are pretty good. When I came in. But yeah, Guess I, was wrong. Can I, I put a a, a post about this game that I'm, I was gonna install it, and I got a few comments, uh, a lot of backlash. Uh, people saying that they they don't uh, they're not gonna play it because of the state it was in That's when it first fine. came out. Step aside. Mm, I guess with my method, you could give it a try. Like, I think there's nothing to lose. And at least they fixed the game. Like, you know, some games come out and they're broken and they, they don't get fixed. So, yeah. If you like this type of game, yeah, you might give it a go. And I think it's a good game to play on the Steam Deck. These big games, like... You, when you get older, you just don't have that time to sit in front of a couch or in front of a computer to play that long. So if it's on the Steam Deck, you can play on the go uh, when you have spare time, when you go to the toilet. Yeah, stuff like that. It's great. So doable. Oh, you can't skip this, so... Let me like get through this part and then we drive a bit and then we, we can stop the video, I think. Sure don't was. want this video to go too long. Satisfying that, not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. If you guys have any uh, requests, you can leave in the comments. Or if you have any issues, looking for someone. please Jackie leave in the Wolf. comments, and I'll try my Maybe. best to get to them. I might not be able to get to every request. Mm -hmm. I've got limited time. I can't install that many Add games. Like but I'll try my best. 
Maybe the game you're looking for is the game that I'm gonna install anyway. Hey Mike, didn't know you had a customer. Yeah, the graphics are good. This game on the Steam Deck, everything's looking good. Don't you sweat it, Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what if you have this game on the Steam Deck and you have um, some recommended settings, please leave them in the comments too. I might check them out. Uh, else, I probably have to go online and search for some recommended settings. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns. Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? Come on. That a nomad vehicle? I just want to go out and I drive a bit. That. I'll just fix it and go. I've no reason to linger. <sighs> no, you sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a <laughs> fucking stray. This Where's game has a lot of language. Camp? There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. I ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. Um, I'll probably do some more triple A games that I haven't done in the past. In. My probably down, like and I need to radio Witcher somewhere. 3, what you need to hide to Red Dead Redemption 2, word. The and Last of no Us, you these um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Got it. What else is there? I've made it Guys, clear. forgive me some I recommendations. Then stop looking for it. And hit the road. Quick. But uh, the games I'm installing now, like, there's not much difficulties. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Alright, so yeah. Pretty good. Driving around, not bad. I guess uh, when you're in the city, when there's a lot of people, it might. Yeah, that's when you're testing the frame rates. Now it's just pretty open, so yeah, easy. But yeah, uh, pretty smooth. A uh, little bit of drops, but I haven't done any settings, and it's on high settings right now. So I'm pretty sure we can tweak that. So yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so I'll probably leave the video here. Um, if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.